What is good ladies and gentlemen, my name is Henry and welcome back to another video. Currently 9.45 a.m. We got our nice cup of iced Joe cracking it up already. Mmm. Ah. Refreshing. As you can already tell by the title, we're about to get brutal today because we are back on Cut, our favorite YouTube channel where we watch things that people would normally not do in public or say out loud. So today we're going to be watching Rank Strangers Attractiveness. Lineup cut. I don't know why they call it lineup. I guess that's the series they do. Yeah, I guess that's the series they do. This just already sounds brutal to me, and I don't even know what's gonna happen, but we're in for a treat. I saw like the first clip of it, so I figured let me stop and let's just watch it together. Let's just have a good old time. Sit down. If you guys, if it's morning for you, grab a cup of Joe. If it's night for you, also grab a cup of Joe, because you're not going to bed. You're watching Henry Boat, guys. Let's get it. You're definitely curvy in the hips measurement. Okay, can you go ahead and spin around for me? Is hips a good way of saying, you got junk on the trunk? <laughs> we asked people to rank strangers Hi. attractive. Hi. Tell me what you're doing here today. Today I am ranking people's attractiveness. How do you feel about that? I feel very awkward. I like her tats. about the whole situation, but um, we're doing it. If you were to rank yourself on a scale from one to 10, what would you give yourself? I'm like an 8.5, <laughs> nine on a really good day. I know, I'm good looking. They asked him, if you were to rank yourself on a scale of one to 10, what would you say? He goes, <laughs> baby, I'm a 13. <laughs> Unfortunate, man. There's no way to say that without sounding douchey. How do you measure someone's attractiveness? I've been scouting models for several decades now. I'm going to be looking at height first, size second. Oh. Not are they good looking. Oh. Everybody's good looking oh. in their own way. Okay. I'm just here to determine whether or not somebody can make money doing it. Okay. Right, go ahead and bring the, uh, the first person in. Yo. Mr. Suit and Tie over here, he, he said, let me bring in the calculations. He said, I'm gonna look at their height first. Da 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 Intricate systems there. He's going, where's the equations? Do 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 do. Yes, that's attractive. But hey, I think honestly his approach is probably gonna be the best one. Just because like homeboy right here that I'm seeing, red jacket guy, I think he's just, you know, your average guy walking down the street who thinks he's attractive. But suit and tie dude, he knows what's up. You know, he, he scouts models. And anyone can be a model. Shoot, I mean, dare I say, I could be a, nah, nah, let me not even, I'm not even, nah. How's it going? Good. You dress really well. You seem like you keep good hygiene. <laughs> I do. I would say you are my type. Give us a spin. <laughs> Nobody comes out wearing that outfit and isn't trying to show off and make sure that everybody sees her. You seem yes. very confident. You also seem very nice. I think a lot of people would see that you're like very pretty and maybe think that you're not nice. Because typically, people just automatically assume you're a bitch because you're pretty. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> I like how she was just nodding. She was just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then she comes out of nowhere and just says, yeah, people probably just assume you're a bitch. Guys, chill out. Like, what? Okay, I mean, I don't know if I assumed she'd be a bitch. I don't think she has RBF, resting bitch face. But I get, I mean, I don't know. I, I like her fit. I like the boots, shiny, pristine. I'll give it to her. I'm not a bitch. She's would not. I find you attractive? Yes. Probably a good solid eight. Yeah, I think you're beautiful. Cute. I will give you a solid eight. I'll okay. give you a nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you single. Hyping them I'm up. I'm not. Oh, okay. How old are you? I'm 26. <gasps> My son is around that age. Yeah. <laughs> I might know your son. We got a move. I do, and you're watching us. I'm sorry. I don't mind. I mean, I'll be that MILF. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be that MILF. Let's get it. She already put that label on herself. That guy in the red jacket's about to become her son's little stepdad. Yikes. <laughs> Tell me all about you. Um, okay, got. I'm 37. I like football. I like beer. I like his all hair. All of these things I probably would have guessed just by taking a look at him. I want to give you like a six because <sighs> your style, I think, is not something that I would personally be I like drawn her tats. to. I, I like kind her of tats. like um, grungier, dirtier looking people. Oh, I wish I would have like just rolled out of bed and just came right in because oh, yeah. you know, I'm like, if you want grungy and dirty, <laughs> like this guy is set. I would put him at a five with <sighs> a little bit of work. He might be able to get some background work. If I was going to be watching what a Bud it? Light commercial, yeah, I would actually look at him and believe okay. that beer is going to be tasty. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Why a five and a six? Why? Like, what did he do wrong? Is it really the style? Or are you guys just looking at him like, mm, you know what? After he goes and he gets his oh, calculations. Yeah, he's just not it. Like, I don't know. I mean, shoot. What would I give him? What would I give my mans right here? Let me get a better look at him. 
What would I give my man's right here? Yeah, nah, probably a three. I'm sorry. Yikes. How's it going? That's a yes. I was gonna say right off the bat, man's right here, he's got it. Mm, damn, I'm sorry, ooh. I mean, guys, he's got style. That, the belt, the pants, the shoes, the plain black tee, I'm vibing with it. That's my kind of, that's my kind of fashion right there. Super simple, maybe the pants are a little too much for my taste, I'll give him a nine. That works. You look like a model, like you look like you're from like a magazine. How I rate how attractive another man is, is the likelihood of them to steal my girl. Have you ever worked in the fashion industry? Nope. Never uh, even oh tried? My. Not, not, not really. Obviously, I have some work to do to get to there. But, you uh, you barely have any work to do. That height, that size, okay. the muscle tone, broad shoulders, small waist, okay. long legs. Everything is pretty much symmetrical. I wouldn't really lose any weight. Yeah, I'd give him a 10. Hey! I'll give you Yo, he gave him a 10! Okay, I knew it. I mean, my dude here, he's got it. Two, a nine out of 10. Nine likelihood to steal my girl. I'm gonna take like traditional standards and mine into account and give you a seven. Oh, okay. But that's just because I am attracted to losers and you don't seem to be one. Would I benefit from tattoos? Yeah, if I saw you with tattoos, I would probably rank you a little bit higher. I got a tattoo. You, you do have a little one. <laughs> When you walked in, I got a little scared. Oh. Uh, I dated somebody that looked similar to you. I, uh, I was like, oh fuck. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, it's not your fault. Yo, you know, this guy just seems like the kind of dude who's probably, I'm just gonna judge him based off of his look, so sue me. But he just looks like the kind of dude who probably goes around, you know, has style or tries to flex. That's just how I feel. You know, he's got the, the hat backwards, got the, what is that brand? some sort of hype beast branded jacket and he's got the chain the nike joggers he just looks like the kids that i went to high school with that were trying to be cool i'm sorry bro i mean maybe i'm i don't know fashion because this is what i'm wearing some shorts not shorts i'm so dumb what some sweats that i got in fifth grade that now 15 years later still fit um because i was fat when i was younger and a black shirt uh from H&M that probably says, that it says walk the talk. Means nothing, but hey, could I be a model? You know, let me give you guys a fashion show, okay? Ooh. In fact, throw the Burks up there. Oh, oh, that's right, baby. Fashion, sweats, black shirt, Birkenstocks. I hope you guys enjoyed your fashion show. I want to give you six. Yeah. You're very, you're very cute, and I like the hair is very cool. And if your outfit matched that, then yeah, I would rate you higher. So how would you change my outfit for uh -oh. you then? Just kind of like dress like a scumbag. Oh. <laughs> if oh. she was in like a band mm. tee and like some ripped black jeans. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I agree. Nah, not really. I'm lying to myself. Nah, but this girl though, she's kind of cute. I'll give it to her. I like the tattoos. Maybe I got a thing for tattoos. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what my type is. I don't get girls. I would give you a seven. You thought that I looked kind of like your ex. Mm -hmm. Did that raise or lower my score? I would say it raised your score. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we used to have really good sex, so uh, that dropped uh, my rating. Up. No, no, dude, dude, my guy. See, this is why I feel like he's some of the guys that I went, yeah, you know, bro. It's just too obvious, like, dude, stop. And turn your hat back, take the hat off. He was reminiscing, he was probably sad as hell. He was like, he used to have good sex. In his head, he's just like. <laughs> there, there, buddy. There, there, don't cry. It's okay. Papa Boat is here. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I disclosed that information. <laughs> I am sweaty. Nice to meet you. Yes, I. Right off the bat, I like this. I like this because it reminds me of a jacket I have. The jacket that I actually wore in the Tekka Boom video. I love your style. Thank you. A lot. Can you can you smile yes. bigger? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you have a really nice smile. I would say if you were gonna get into this industry, like you would need to grow a little bit taller, <laughs> especially with the hair, it's Can't a little bit on the severe side. But there are a lot of people out there that would book you for commercial print products, television, film. You seem very approachable. Like if I saw you at the bar, I would come up to you, you know, to start a conversation because you're you seem very inviting. He I wanna does. give you a nine. He does. I think yes, I'm giving you a you. nine. I would say bookability market factor is gonna be at about a four. What about oh. appearance-wise? <laughs> oh, damn. Appearance-wise? Yeah, I'm sure you're a magnet. I'm sure you get some. Single, married? Single. Not for long. You'll be fine. <laughs> when I see an attractive person, my gauge of their attractiveness is like, oh, and you were both going after the same person, would I be intimidated? You already said this. You're an eight. Okay. Yeah. So I'm a little bit intimidating. Right? Yeah, you could steal my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. I'm Elena. You are gorgeous. <laughs> I can't handle her. You're so. I like her voice. Right off the bat, she came in and said hi, and I don't know. I feel attached. Maybe I'm weird. So cute. What the? Heck? Oh, thank you. She's one of those girls that when she walks into a room with a big old smile, you automatically will like them. Yeah. Not sure about the Harajuku hair, but if I had to go on she a number cute, of bookability, I'd go with about a six or seven. I think there's certainly work out there that you could do. On my standards and society standards, I think would both probably be a ten. Oh, you're just very, you're traditionally attractive, Yo. but you're also just very, very high key. There's like confetti and fireworks in my head right now. Like Yo, this is I? really exciting stuff. Thank you. Yeah, so nice you're the best. You. Okay, high key, bro. I don't know if I'm kind of lonely right now, but can I meet her? She's just kind of, she just seems warm and inviting. I would love a hug. I like the hair. I don't know what Mr. Suit and Tie was talking about, but I like the hair. And uh, maybe I'm weird. I don't know. She just like came in, said one word, and I'm like, I love you. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. This is a guy that you would see in a Calvin Klein fashion show walking Yo. down the runway Yo. and nothing more than just Yo. a speedo. Yeah, you're- I'm not gonna cap, all right? I'm not gonna cap. Not my type of oh, the pants. You know, it's the bagginess, not my style, but man, is he rocking it. The hair, everything on point. Let's see what they gotta say. You're attractive. The smile? Yeah, no, he's cute. <laughs> the pants are just, what are you doing with those pants? I feel like I'm just wearing pants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look and see how your walk is and then we can determine whether or not maybe runway might be a good thing for you. Oh. Can you smile? <laughs> okay, a lot of work to do on <laughs> him for runway. I would give you a tip. Yeah. The pants are confident. I respect you, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Keep doing you. What you're doing is working. I think I'm gonna give you a 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. What would you I'll give rank me on a scale of one to 10? Probably an eight. You have like a very like Greek goddess type face, like it's sick, but that's like not necessarily like the type of person I'm always looking for. Okay. Um, Does cool. that make sense? Yeah, uh, that was like the nicest possible way to say that I'm not your type. <laughs> Mm. She goes, yeah, by the way, you're a 10. And he's like, yeah, you're not my type, bitch. <laughs> Dude, Cut is so mean with this shit, bro. Like, can <laughs> he's, look at his face. Oh my God. He's like, yikes. Uh, I like the smile though. I mean, I'll give it to him. He's, a, he's an attractive man. I'll give it to him. But Mr. Suit and Tie, can we run it back to Mr. Suit and Tie? Let's take a look and see how your walk is and then we can determine whether or not maybe a runway might be a good thing for you. I swear he is evaluating everyone to like sell them. He's like, I will get you a job. I will, you know what? Let me see what you do. Oh, oh, ooh. Mm, mm-hmm, uh. Needs work, but mm, we could put you here. Mm. He's like hiring people right off the right off the cuff. He said, "Let me let me call up my people." Oh, beep, boop, boop, boop. Hey, Chanel, Chanel, let me get this man on the show next week. Booked. Well, way to say that I'm not your type. <laughs> All right. Mm. All right. We're good. Thank you. You have a nice day. How's it going? Oh, showing off all the gold. Oh, bling bling. Every time I come around, okay. I like the way that you carry yourself. I like the pants for obvious reasons. Obviously. The leather pants. I like the form fittingness of oh, the pants. Really showing off. Fit. Yeah. <laughs> AKA, he said, I like your butt. Just say it, bro. Come on. You're definitely curvy in the hips measurement. Okay. Can you go ahead and spin around for me? Is hips a good way of saying, you got junk on the trunk? <laughs> Yeah. I think you're very pretty. 
Wow, thank you. You do, however, remind me a little bit of my ex roommate who I am not a fan of. So, so to get back at them, you're gonna use me? Um, I think I'm gonna give you like a like a seven. You're still very, very pretty. You want a number of what's marketable, I'd easily just say five. It's not too high, it's not too low. You would definitely be able to work in the petite market in a certain city, but no okay. piercing. I would give you a nine yeah, out of 10. What kind, just... of, what kind of men are you attracted to? Assertive. <laughs> Assertive, oh, oh, okay. Are you assertive? Are we talking about the bedroom? If you're already I... there, uh -huh. are you assertive? Uh... He's a bitch. I've I've known this about this guy this whole time I'm watching this video, bro. He's just walking to walk with no with no action. No or he's talking to talk with no walk. I'm I messed it up. Don't even listen to me. But he's just you know what I'm saying. Dresses with the style, but mm, doesn't got the assertiveness. She wants someone to throw around the bedroom. <laughs> There's that answer. <laughs> ah, she got him. I feel bad just automatically like judging someone based off of their appearance. Facts. You never judge people off their appearance. Occasionally, yeah, I can't say that I don't. I, I do sometimes see people that look cool and attractive and I'm like, ooh, I like you. I want to be friends with you just based off of how they look. So I do judge people based off their appearance. Attractiveness is something that we all think about and being in a space where it is the topic and we're here to talk about that is refreshing for a change. Honestly, that wasn't bad. I believe what they said at the end there where they're asking them if they judge off appearance, you know, obviously every single person is guilty of judging off appearance because that is the first thing that we do before we even walk up to somebody, right? So you can't even hate if that's what you do, but obviously I wouldn't have appearance negatively affect the way that you approach or talk to or, you know, view someone and their personality because someone may not be a 10 on your attractiveness scale, but they may be a seven but the personality is an 11 and you're like, mm, baby, let me marry you. So, hey, don't judge a book by its cover, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're solving world problems here on Henry Boat. But anyways, that was fun. I've missed Cut, haven't seen them in a minute, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still zooming off this coffee, gonna chug the rest of it. Ah! Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. Catch you guys in the next video. Don't know when it's gonna happen, but make sure to stay classy and peace out. Whew.